All right, so as you know, I'm always trying to bring something new and fresh to the channel. So today, I'm introducing a new series. In this series, I'm going to be making up my very own Formula One conspiracy theories and maybe go into some fan theories as well. So, like today's one, this is completely made up. There's no evidence to back this and say that it's true. It's for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken seriously. So, while I attempt my best BuzzFeed Unsolved voice, Let's get into the suspicious retirement of Nico Rosberg. On the 2nd of December 2016, at the FIA prize-giving ceremony, Nico Rosberg announced his retirement from Formula 1. This was particularly shocking, considering Nico was contracted until 2018, in his prime, and was coming off his first World Championship. What followed was more than just shock for Formula 1 fans, but confusion and a hint of anger. Retiring on top, without having to defend the title to his teammate and rival, Lewis Hamilton. As time went on, Nico's retirement announcement had sunk in, and fans set their focus on who would replace him at Mercedes. And of course, the 2017 regulations. This will tie into the theory a little bit later. I just want to take a moment to explain how big of a deal this retirement was. The online F1 community wasn't what it is today. From 2016 to the current day in 2021, it has grown so much and it is crazy. But even back then, people that were making F1 related content such as Ben, uh, Arav, and of course, Matty or ex Matty G as he was formerly known as, Matty literally got a job with WTF1 from reacting to the news of Nico Rosberg's retirement from his kitchen. It really was just crazy, massive news. Nico Rosberg admitted that he began to consider retirement after the 2016 Japanese Grand Prix. This was around the time that he felt he was in a strong position to win the title. Nico would then discuss it with his wife Vivian before the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Later on, Nico made his decision to retire. He told his wife, manager, then phoned Mercedes team principal, Toto Wolff. Just days after winning the championship, Nico would announce his retirement at the FIA prize giving ceremony. He would say, I have decided to end my Formula 1 career. Ever since I started when I was 6 years old, I had a very, very clear dream, and that was to become Formula 1 World Champion. And now, I have achieved that. The announcement caught everyone by surprise. Fans, drivers, team members, and the media. Martin Brundle would go on to say, I find it absolutely extraordinary. A big surprise. It's obviously a personal decision, and it's bad for Formula 1, because we haven't got a world champion through the winter and next season. But on the other end, teammate and rival Lewis Hamilton would go on to say, This is the first time he's won a title in 18 years, hence why it was not a surprise that he decided to stop. He's also got a family to focus on, and wants more children, and Formula 1 takes so much of your time. Will I miss the rivalry? Of course. Though majority of reactions to Nico's announcement were that of shock, as time passed and it sunk in, people began to understand his decision to focus on his family. Now that we have some context about the retirement, let's get into the conspiracy. The first theory is that Mercedes forced Nico to retire and paid him out. For this theory, we must go back to the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix, where Lewis and Nico's rivalry reached its peak. Nico and Lewis's extensive rivalry can be traced all the way back to karting. And all throughout their years at Mercedes, we were witness to many heated on and off track moments. But Spain 2016 was indeed different gravy. As one of the most infamous teammate crashes occurred, this in one way sent Mercedes F1 team into a crisis. The team now had a driver problem that had the potential to damage the team. According to Nicky Lauda, Mercedes told the drivers that they could potentially pay penalties for their actions 
and even be released from their contracts if it were to happen again. It was no secret that Lewis and Nico didn't have a strong relationship, with the drivers not even saying hello to each other in the morning. Something that's hard to comprehend considering the strong team culture that exists at Mercedes. Lewis and Nico would have another run in at the Austrian Grand Prix, causing the team to lose points and creating more tension between the drivers and the team. So why would Mercedes pay Nico Rosberg to retire? Would they be that desperate for a change in teammates? Nico was contracted until 2018, therefore the team may have honoured his contract and paid Nico for the next couple of years, for the sake and benefit of the team. Furthermore, with the 2017 regulations approaching, Mercedes may have felt threatened by Ferrari or Red Bull, when scoring points was going to be crucial to securing the championship, entering a new era of Formula 1. I personally think it's a good way to cover up having a number one driver, but I'm not overly convinced with this theory. So this brings us to the next one. The second theory is that Mercedes struck a retirement deal with Nico and purposely sabotaged Lewis's season. Now this one seems a lot more believable and very well organised. Let me explain. This is similar to the last theory in a way, but way more possible. Nico won the title over Lewis by just 5 points, and there was one race during that season that will remain in the memory of F1 fans forever, and that was what happened at Sepang. Now, I'm not one to take anything away from Nico, as he is one of my all-time favourite drivers, but Lewis's engine failure on lap 41 while he was comfortably in the lead of the race set up Nico for his first championship. This theory is based on a secret plan that went on behind the scenes that would see Lewis's season sabotaged by Mercedes. Going into 2016, the two drivers would switch mechanics, with five of Lewis's mechanics making their way over to Nico's side, and five of Nico's going over to Lewis's side. Though Lewis admitted that most of the effects would be psychological, he didn't hide his feelings towards the switch, saying, you will have to buy my book in 10 years time to find out exactly what happened. It'll be an interesting read. I'll also note that Lewis's number one mechanic joined Team Nico. Could Nico have discussed the possibility of stepping away from the team under one condition? He wins the world championship. Is it possible that Mercedes made it happen and organised the 2016 season in order to set up the team for the future? And now for my third and final theory. Nico Rosberg was created in a lab by the FIA in order to challenge Lewis Hamilton and make it interesting. No, 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 let's, let's not do this. But in the end, Nico Rosberg retired from Formula 1 on top as the world champion. Mercedes opted for Valtteri Bottas for 2017 onwards, and he continues to drive for the team. It is most likely that Nico had achieved his lifelong goal and wanted to focus on his family going forward, but could there be something more to this story? The drama that was the 2016 season forever remains in the memory of Formula 1 fans. Mercedes have been as dominant as ever, and Nico has a mad YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video, let me know in the comment section below do you think that this was just an innocent retirement, or do you think that there was more to it? I want to hear your theories, so drop them below and tell me what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload and you won't miss a thing. And with all that being said, thank you for watching.